Hello everyone, today I am going to discuss about action potential in cardiac muscle. Graphical recording of action potential in cardiac muscle look like this. There are various phases. There is a phase of rapid depolarization that is phase 0. Initial rapid depolarization is due to opening of voltage gated sodium channels. It causes entry of sodium ions inside which causes change in membrane potential from rested value to somewhere near minus 30 to minus 40 millivolt somewhere near here. At minus 30 to minus 40 millivolt membrane potential later calcium channels open up which causes entry of calcium ions inside and bring membrane potential to somewhere near plus 20 to plus 30 millivolt. Then there is a phase of initial rapid repolarization that is phase 1. This is due to closure of sodium channels and opening of potassium channels. So, causes movement of potassium ions outside. It causes transient outward current. Bring the membrane potential from plus 30 millivolt to somewhere near minus 10 millivolt. Then there is a phase of play 2. This is because of slow influx of calcium ions by opening of L type calcium channels. A. There is a closure of distinct set of potassium channels. So, membrane potential falls very slowly to minus 40 millivolt. Then there is a phase of repolarization that is phase 3. Plateau is phase 2. In the phase of repolarization here there will be closure of calcium channels and opening of potassium channels occur. So causes outflow of potassium ions. So, membrane potential falls to resting value. Then there is a phase of resting membrane potential that is phase 4. This is because of sodium potassium ATPA Duration of action potential in cardiac muscle is approximately 250 millisecond at heart rate 75 per minute. If heart rate increases, duration of action potential decreases. So, this is all about action potential in cardiac muscle. Thank you so much.